Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the UQ 3 to 9 by 40 rifle scope with a knitted gun sock. And with no further ado, we're going to jump into this bad boy and see what it is all about. So starting off what you get here comes in this nice little box. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And I have not seen this yet, so I don't even know what it looks like. As you can see here, looks like we got a sock here. Oh, there we go. That's everything out of the box. This is going to be our scope. We'll get into that here in a second. Here we have a CR2032 battery. Very nice. Comes in another little box. Let's see what's in here. Here you have your mounts along with some Allen keys and that's it in there. And this is the sock. Good closer look at that here in a little bit. Go ahead and take this scope out though. So here we have our scope. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. It comes in some nice little wrapping here to protect it. There is that. Looks like we have here some microfiber cloth, little U Q card, of course a manual. So when we're talking about some basic key features of this optic, of course you have your spring activated lens caps, front and back, you can see there. You can take these off like so, they just pop right off. And then right here, you can see we have some U Q branding along with three to nine by 40. Here you have your windage adjustment. These are also capped. Go ahead and screw those right off to go ahead and access these controls here. Same with on this side. So windage, windage and elevation are right here and here. And here you have your illumination button. Go ahead and turn that whatever way you want. Take the battery out, you just screw this top cap off. See here, it is beveled a little bit to indicate that. There's no battery in here yet, so we're gonna go ahead and insert that. You can see here they did include the CR2032 battery, and you can go ahead and just take that out of there, pop that right at its spot. This side goes down, so you can see the letters up here. And then you go ahead and you screw this cap right back on. Make sure you're threading it properly. So this particular scope is equipped with your elevation and windage adjustments. It is a one click equals quarter MOA turn. And here you have your diopter in the back. You can adjust this like so, super easy. It just glides right across there. This does have red and green illumination, which we'll get a close up look of in it here in a little bit, but it is looks to be five for green and five for red adjustments for the illumination levels this does also come with of course the scope brackets these are equipped for a picatinny rail but they're easily you just unscrew these and you can adjust this it's meant for a 20 millimeter picatinny rail but if you have a picatinny rail it's going to work most picatinny rails are 20 millimeter yeah, but they're very nice pretty solidly built um we'll get those mounted up here in a little bit of course when we're talking about UQ, you can expect some aircraft grade aluminum build as far as the body goes. Um, you have some black anodized coating and of course it is equipped with waterproof O-rings for the seals. Um, it's not 100% waterproof, but it is waterproof. And there is nitrogen gas filling in this, which um, you can see here, there's a screw there for that. So with this particular optic, you're going to be looking at some great high performance multi coat lenses that provide some very nice light transmission and um, anti reflective coatings with the front and the back lenses. So that's very nice. Starting off here, we're going to have one red. And that goes all the way to five. We're going to switch over to green that is off one green two three four and five very nice illuminations with this so to mount these scope mounts it's pretty simple all you got to do is take these off on both of these as you can see they included the allen key just go ahead and unscrew these drop those out like so and then of course this is going to go underneath 
set that down. Then you can put these right up over and then go ahead and screw those back down. So let's go ahead and talk about this beautiful gun socket they've included with this optic. It is 53 and a half inches long by 4.3 inches wide. It is made out of durable elastic material. So you can go ahead and slide this up over any gun. Um, usually it'd probably be a rifle of some sort, but um, it does include this nice little drawstring in the back. So you can go ahead and seal that up. Um, it's probably good for some long-term storage or really whatever you wanted it to be for. You know, take your gun to the range, cover it, whatever. Um, but it's a nice green color. It does have some black tones in there. So uh, all in all, it's a great included product that they've thrown in there. So that is going to go ahead and do it for the up-close look of the UUQ 3-9 by 40 millimeter rifle scope that they have sent out to me. Uh, this bad boy is coming in at about $35. So that is, I think really awesome for such a great quality build by UQ along with the um, 10 different illuminations with the five green and five red and the magnification adjustments along with you know your scope mounts and all that 35 bucks is a steal for this um, couldn't have been happier with you know the up close look at this I'm I'm pretty excited to mount this bad boy up and see how this does perform so we are at the range now. We're going to be taking some shots with the UQ 3 to 9 by 40 millimeter rifle scope. We are going to be shooting some 223 out of a CVA Cascade. It is a rifle, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into that and see how this bad boy does. So now that we have this bad boy mounted up on here, you can see it's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. The bolt is clear. Um, no ammunition in this, but this sight does look very nice on this rifle. Um, I have to say the risers are perfect. Uh, they fit perfectly on the Picatinny rail. You can adjust them however you want if you have this style Picatinny rail, but uh, so far so good. Let's, uh, let's jump straight into how this thing performs. So we are gonna be shooting some 223 today. This is a 55 grain made by Remington UMC. So uh, as you can see there, nothing too crazy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and load this up. And so we're only about 30 yards away from the target. Beautiful day out here. It's a little windy, but uh, it's about 70 degrees, so let's uh, let's go ahead and chamber this bad boy and see how she does. Not too bad here. It's good grouping. These two are little outliers, but not very stable. So we'll get we'll get a stable ground and uh, try that again. So um, not too bad so far. The optic seems to be doing its job. I haven't played with the illumination at all yet, but we'll go ahead and try that out now. We go ahead and turn this illumination on and see how this looks during the day. Probably gonna have to put it up quite a bit due to sun being super bright but it is noticeable um, it's kind of not really necessary during the day it's a little bit harder to see but we're gonna keep running some and see how she does so so first takes on the optic I have to say um, it seems to be doing a shot pretty well it does move just a little bit but um, all in all I think for the price of 35 bucks it's not a bad scope to have in your arsenal it does have Quite a few magnification settings so we're going to go ahead and move on up and see if we can get some better target acquiring with a larger magnification i was on three for that so that was pretty distanced off a little bit but we're going to go ahead and load this up and bump the magnification just a hair to see how it does then so all the way up on nine magnification i could see it is perfectly clear um it looks super good it, the clarity is awesome i have to say um with the sun beating down on this optic, I don't see any light reflection through it. And, I mean, it's holding up together pretty well. So, let's keep running some more. Not 
not too bad. All the shots hit, so all in all, pretty decent. Well, there you have it, guys. The full-length review, range day of the UUQ 3 to 9 by 40 millimeter rifle scope. For the price range of 35 bucks, I think this is a good optic. Um, you really can't expect a whole lot with this, but I think that this was a little bit too powerful. It did move a little bit. Some of these came untightened just a hair, but they do have the quick, quick tighten down if you wanted to. So um, all in all for 35 bucks, I think this is a great optic to uh, maybe throw on a 22 or even this 223. It did seem to do its job pretty well. So uh, all in all, thank you guys for sending this out to me. Couldn't have been happier with the way it performed. Um, and link down below for purchase per usual. Um, I always leave the links down below for these optics, guys. So go ahead and check these companies out. UQ is a great company to work with. They have great products. And everything they've sent to me so far, I have been nothing but happy with. So, so thank you guys again for sending this bad boy out to me. And thank you guys for watching. I cannot be happier with the crowd that I have gathered on my platform. So you guys are awesome. I hope you guys are checking out these products that I'm doing reviews on. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I love making these range days for you. And I love getting the right products to the right people. And making sure you guys are buying what you should buy and not buying what you don't need. So um, thank you guys again for watching. And I will catch you guys next time.